If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, welcome you all to this new lecture on intermediate level on circles. So today we will see how to find the length of a tangent from an external point and what is the concept of or what is the meaning of power of a point. How it is so used is length of a tangent and the power of a point. How to find the length of a tangent from a given point of a line. Suppose this P in the earlier article, the same P that was lying outside and see so see, suppose this is the tangent to pt pt is the tangent then how to find the so this length is 90 degree so you have to find pt length so this length square minus this square will give you pt square pythagoras theorem you can apply because this is nothing but distance between center and the point cp so it is cp square minus ct square ct is nothing but the radius so what is the distance between this point this circle point you have seen minus g minus f because it is center what is given the given is here the same circle the same article the last article this is given this is given so center is your minus g minus f radius is also g square f square minus g under root okay so this is your distance from the center that is cp and this is your radius ct square so if you do it then it is this so which is nothing but you can see what is this x1 square well, that means you are putting the point on the equation itself so it is the length of the pt so length of the tangent is you can see under root of this one which is known as the length so this is the formula for the length you put the point and take under root you will find the length of the tangent from this point to this point now what is power of a point which is also a name suppose p is given for this for this circle so we put the point on the circle we put the point on the circle s1 equal to this putting the point means in place of x you will put x1 in place of y you will put y1 that is known as y1 uh, s1 which is known as power of a point so this is known as the power of the point what is the power of the point you put the point on this for equation and see the value that will be the power of the point which is also helpful for our earlier article this is also power of point if it is less than zero then it is inside equal to on greater than outside here also it is helpful because under root of that one is the length of the tangent so it is power of a point with respect to circle with respect to circle obviously it represents basically the position of point with respect to circle where it is inside outside on that it depends this one represents so the, basically this one that is the power of the point so in case of tangent it is the what is the equation of tangent it is the under root of this one so you remember this one do you remember in short form length of t1 length of tangent equal to root s1 so instead of remembering all this long formula we remember it in this root s1 and s1 we remember it as a power of a point you put the point that is s1 so if the point p is positive if the p is positive power of a point p so p is the given point so what is the power of the point that is s1 it will be positive negative zero accordingly if it is positive then it is lying outside we have seen if it is equal to then it is inside if it is less than then it is if it is negative then inside if it is zero then it is on the side that one we have seen from our earlier article also so power of point will give you lots of things so you remember this one power of point if you like the video then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section